So I'd like to show you the demo that we've set up for DesignCon to illustrate the high flow cages that we're implementing for ZQSFP. We've got a wind tunnel and we have two two by one cages in the wind tunnel. We have a standard cage on the left and a flow enhanced cage with an internal writing heat sink on the right. We assemble four modules, two on each side, and then we use a power supply to drive a fan at the back of the wind tunnel, which is pulling air at a predetermined rate through the wind tunnel. This power supply is generating a total of 20 watts of load and heating the modules themselves to emulate a 5 watt optical module. We then measure the temperature within the module and compare the relative performance of the standard ZQSFP cage with the flow enhanced ZQSFP cage. If you take a look, what we've displayed up here are the absolute temperatures that we're measuring real time. We've got around 50 C on the top module in the standard and around 42 C in the bottom module, again, in the standard ZQSFP. If we look at the flow enhanced version, I've got about 40 C right now as you can see, I get about 9C improvement overall with that top module and comparing the two. And actually at this point, I'm getting about 10C improvement on the bottom module. So it's a very significant improvement uh, in the ability to manage that thermal energy. If you just roughly look at this, it's 48.6, but for simplicity, I'll call it 50. And you do the math, I've got a 25C rise here over roughly a 25C ambient. With a 45C max ambient temperature for enterprise systems, that puts your module at 70C. And this is an optimized environment. Again, it's a test environment. We've got a lot of airflow. The cages are separated. That would be a real problem if that module actually gets to 70C or starts to rise above that temperature again. You'll see degradation of reliability and overall performance decline because of the excessive temperature. So that's the demo that we're running at DesignCon. Thanks a lot for your interest in our products.